Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Looks like this is our lucky day. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Let's just get inside. Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should stay, Kenny. We've made an alright go of it so far. Lee, you know that's bullshit. Those folks in the woods keep giving us hell. It's only a matter of time. We should get in the RV and get to the ocean. I need you with me on this, pal. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. So much for the military. Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad.
girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I haven't asked. Just gonna let it stew, huh? Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, 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 shit! Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have. Don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. She's gonna get us killed. No shit. And actually. Fuck. Gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. I don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. time now.
You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone and come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. This place is fine, Kenny. Oh sure, it's fine right this second, but this ain't sustainable, and you know it. It's gonna be hard for me with you two. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. It could be so much worse. When's the last time someone got bitten? Are you counting the St. John's? Jesus, Ben. We're all going a little nuts. But we can't tear each other apart. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you... We got all the protection we need. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? They won't be going back over. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? You weren't out there. You guys couldn't try to save her? Don't take that tone with him. It's the first smart thing he's done in a while. Glad to know you think being a killer is smart. Hey, if you don't agree with it, then we'll take everything we got in these bags and put it in a pile marked, No Hypocrites, and you can use everything else. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I 
think about you too. Our group is small. You're small. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Don't call me small. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. Before I met you and before the plague, I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what... Yeah, that's it. It was a bad thing and there's no explaining it. Why are you telling me? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself anymore. Do you have any questions? You can go on back to your things. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Kat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's. Different from everything. This was before the walkers. Uh... I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and, you know, I, I was worried. I just smashed a guy's head in with a 50-pound block of salt. You saw me do that, right? Yeah. 
I did. And you're talking about who we were? The fuck does that matter? It's everything this mess has got us doing now, Lee. Shit. Look, is Duck safe around you? Of course. Then shut it. You don't owe anybody any kind of explanation. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I've killed before. I mean, before the walkers showed up. You mean you were a murderer? You say that like it was my job. Well, what are the details? It was in a dispute. Would he have killed you? I don't know. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I held Lily back and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> Katja. Everything keeps changing. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can't help. And if you tell anybody, it will be trouble. 
Secrecy. Did you hear what I just said? I won't tell a soul. The part about not helping? You can't help. I will live in the shadows. Some broken glass on the ground there. Hmm. There's something drawn there. Duck. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I thought I told you you couldn't help. I'm curious. You don't say. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No. It's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was coming to see him for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. More chalk. <clears throat> Somebody was over here, too. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking 
steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, got our people out there! Out here. We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall them. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up! Or I'll... Christ! Oh shit! Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Shit for brains, he's back there! Now! Get over here! Hurry! Man, you saved our asses. Get inside! Gotcha! Hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van! Get your asses around behind! Gotcha! Hurry! Come on! Get inside the RV! It's gonna be okay! Go! Oh, Christ! Lily, get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Shit! Get down here! Shit! Cat! Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine, Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split I'm open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please, we have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. Carly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Don't be ridiculous. Like, look. Maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. 
Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mis- Let me stop waving the finger at everybody. We know something's going on, and we can get to the bottom of it if we keep our heads. I know what we found. I know, Lily. I know. Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... <laughs> Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. Alright, well, we can deal with this now then. Kenny, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily... Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. There's no way it was Carly. Or somebody else. It could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh. The hell you will. You're making it worse on yourself. I just don't want to be on my own. You should have thought of that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence! Stop treating him like this! Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough out of you! Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute! Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you! Stop this! You're torturing him! No! Ben! Stop! This is about trust, and I've never trusted you! I did it! What? Yeah, it was me. That gets you to lay off the kid? I think you're capable of being a real piece of shit. But I know it wasn't you. Not with her in your life. There! I got him! Please, let's just get back That's in the That's not RV. happening! You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now, what the fuck's the problem with... Drop it! Holy fuck. Kenny! What's happening? Keep duck away from the windows! Jesus Christ! Get in! We're leaving this crazy bitch! She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. You know? Yeah, he told me. I don't give a shit. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. Lee? 
A word, please? What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? What the fuck happened during the raid? What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Carly? Gone, but won't come back. Because she was shot in the head. That's right. It's horrible. Yeah, it is. I didn't, though. Thanks. something up ahead. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clem, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That would cross my mind.
Hey, sweet pea, you okay out here? I don't think Doc feels good. Hey man, we're still looking around and haven't figured much out yet. It's fine. Radiator could use a rest as it is. How stuck? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah. She is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I was. This isn't any time for, you know, romance, but yeah. I was, uh, fond of her, yeah. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods, just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. Hope so, but this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Looks unopened. I'll take this to Kanja for Duck. allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't, but you're probably right.
We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. Suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kinda see the indentations from the writing. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. Hey, Ken. What's up? You want to talk about that? I'm really sorry, Kenny. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. I'll get back to it. Me too. We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, it feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Let's get this thing moved and get back on the road. It's all yours. Attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah.
doors closed. This door's gonna hurt. Okay, you aren't gonna like this. There's gotta be a better way to do this. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! You touch any of my stuff? Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. What's your game, man? Keep him alive. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. Your friend mentioned Savannah. Is that where y'all are going? Trying to. Have a look. Route 27 will get us straight there. To Savannah? Yep. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Here, I found these. If Duck's up for it. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. 
What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. Here, Kenny. Whoa. This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. We put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults, taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. We'll be fine. We've gone through just as much as anybody else. This one's gonna grow up quick. I already am. I don't doubt it, son. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What, sir? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Stop the train. Katja needs you, Kenny. Duck will be fine. He won't be. He's going, Kenny. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial. And you've given up on Duck, on everyone. Stop it, goddammit. 
Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Calm down and- How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid, and a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. Again, it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill, or... Something we can just give him. Stop it. Can just drift off to sleep. Right, hun? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Please, right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and... Just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest, so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Duck is dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go! It'll be fine! Cat! Cat! Gotcha!
Why, cat? Honey. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> What the hell happened? What did you? She couldn't. She, 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 she just. Oh, 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 fuck! What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Hey, how you doing? Say it to me, asshole, what you said to my girl. Excuse me, son? Telling the little girl she's gonna die. Wanna scare people, scare me. Fucker. Okie dokie. She's gonna die. Son of a bitch. How is that? How about I throw your sorry ass off this fucking train? Now we're both scared. I don't know much about you folks. I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I'll tell you, as long as you don't toss me over the rail. I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one. Sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. 
You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. I shot the kid, you know? I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there, about whether or not you folks want company. Be safe up here. You betcha. Hey, man. You and me, we... Oh, fuck it. Let's just get to the ocean. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Hey. Yeah? Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. It's full of maps and documents. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? Hey, Ben. Hey. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, guess not. See you. Yeah. Chuck has some booze left. It's a fifth of whiskey. There's some scissors in Chuck's bag. They look clean enough. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, well, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I like that. Good. to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. Might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah. Ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay. 
Let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly, and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Steady now. Almost got it. Okay, a little higher. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Steady now. Almost got it. I got it! Excellent. Good shot. Bit to the right. Aim a little higher. There you go. Nice. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No. Far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. My hands hurt and my ears have noise in them. Like. You'll get used to it. Yeah, three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. No, it's different. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. I was sent to jail. Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab.
Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. Found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? No, I'm fine. Suit yourself. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. I could kill you. I... I... Nobody could see us. I could toss you over right now and be done with it. No! I... Lee, please! Why shouldn't I? They said they had my friend! I didn't know what to do! Lee, please! I had to tell someone. I bet you did. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them. I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... Clem, come on. That's not a good idea. You can't tell me what to do. Clementine... I don't want to talk about it anymore. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little shot. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh shit! Hold on everybody!
maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. There's a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Define trouble. Anything that gets you killed, or worse. And it tends to come hand in hand with groups of guys in distress. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? We've just been trying to get by together. Maybe find her parents. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man. How long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road, alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Folks probably had their way with that van a while ago. That's about the only useful thing in here. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. 
Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. Big shit to move. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh. I understand. Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You aren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? It will be thick as thieves. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. And maybe we won't be around for a while. Sure, how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. Maybe I should check out that train station. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. <clears throat> mm, won't burn. We'll have to find a way in. windows open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. Damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. It 
It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Locked up good. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Keys, now! God damn it, it's locked! go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. Sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No, Clem. We learned that everything we will ever do is dangerous. We'll get better, smarter, and faster, okay? Okay. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look.
The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Hope this holds. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Stay here and we'll go with your lady. The hell you will. Next stop, the Atlantic. We're finding Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them there. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. You'll be all right. 
I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. That fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents. Y'all might want to rethink your plan. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents, but Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! <laughs> 